Prime Minister announces economic recovery and resilience plan. Hundreds to get jobs as plans for the development of the South continue to take shape. Cuba and St. Lucia continue to collaborate. A new development comes into focus as we review just some of the highlights of the Prime Minister's weekly diary. On Sunday, July 12th, Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney and a team of professionals from the government of St. Lucia presented St. Lucia's Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan. The plan follows St. Lucia's phased approach to the COVID-19 pandemic, which included the Public Health Response Plan and the Social Stabilization Plan. The Economic Recovery Plan was designed after extensive consultation and is budgeted at $579.33 million, with a focus on stimulating the economy, creating employment, and helping small and medium-term businesses to recover. For more on the plan, visit the Government of St. Lucia's website. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Chastney met with Cuban Ambassador His Excellency Alejandro Simancas Marin to discuss matters concerning the Cuban health operation in St. Lucia. Cuba and St. Lucia always collaborated in the area of healthcare, and amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, a Cuban medical brigade arrived in St. Lucia to assist at the respiratory hospital and centers throughout the island in an effort to prevent the virus from spreading. This week, the Prime Minister also continued work towards re-engineering solid waste management in St. Lucia. Stakeholders in the plans for the new direction, including Minister for Sustainable Development, Honorable Gail T. C. Rigobert, and the team from the Solid Waste Management Authority, as well as the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, discussed the way forward, including the thrust to phase the island out of the use of landfills. The Prime Minister has just convened a meeting with uh, stakeholders, including Solid Waste, uh, SLASPA, Sustainable Development, with a view to operationalizing the recently purchased Carina units, which are meant to treat with and uh, to reduce the pileup of uh, garbage at the collection points. You'll recall that sometime last year, we ceased landfilling at the Viewfort landfill site. We had been bombarded with complaints about um, flies at the nearby St. Jude's Hospital at the George Odlum Stadium. We had a couple of fires. We had a reason on occasion to suspend school over the last couple of years and even before this administration came into office. Also, the landfill was nearing uh, capacity, its full capacity and nearing the expiration of its lifespan, so to speak. With the new redevelopment uh, project at the Hiwanora International Airport, the proximity of the landfill to Hiwanura Airport became increasingly concerning and therefore the Karina units are part of a very comprehensive review, re-engineering of solid waste management on island. On Wednesday, the South was buzzing as the Prime Minister and several government officials attended the launch of ITEL BPO at the Hiranora Free Zone in View Fort. ITEL BPO's first recruits commenced training in the new facility on June 30th, and the company will be hiring a total of 150 new team members by the end of the summer. 750 jobs are expected at the facility by the first quarter of 2021. The Prime Minister, the Minister for Investment, Honorable Bradley Felix, and Invest in Lucia are elated at the prospects this opens up for the South. This was a really amazing day today to be able to open up this facility, and I think this is a continuation of the plan that we had on building a new St. Lucia. And this is what we had envisaged, and particularly here in the South. This is what Viewfort 
is all about. This is the, going to be the engine of significant growth for St. Lucia. And to achieve that, it's the level of infrastructural investment that currently is taking place in Viewfort. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports got the opportunity on Friday to update the Prime Minister on the Ministry's plans for the year and the National Youth Policy. The Prime Minister discussed with the team some key areas for youth development as well as projects and plans already ongoing which impact young people in St. Lucia. Prime Minister Chastney reiterated the government's support for healthy, productive and engaged youth and the push to create more employment and academic opportunities. We are here as a part of a scheduled discussion with the Prime Minister, that is the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports and it is to discuss, you know, issues of youth and sports development, you know, our implementation. Um, also on the agenda this morning is uh, the youth policy. And the discussion would surround about, you know, how we can actualize you know what is coming out of, of the youth policy. That was your snapshot into Prime Minister Chastney's week. Stay informed every week by checking out the Prime Minister's weekly diary. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Nicole MacDonald.